here's what I need you to do. If you have seen this before, you know the drill. Um, if you haven't, um, this is a live Q&A uh, where you can call in, or where you can comment with a question. We'll reach out to you immediately to get your phone number. We'll call you here from the studio, and then we will uh, talk to you live. This is Tyler Harris. How are you? Hi, Mr. Harris. <laughs> Mr. Harris is my father, and he is not. I'm sorry. He is not here today. <laughs> where are you from, Great, Crystal? Um, we live in a suburb outside of Kansas City. Okay, very cool. Well, did you have a question for us today? I, I did. I have been watching your stuff for the last month, and I, I just have to say it has helped so much more than all the therapy and marriage therapy that we I have been seeing for the last several months. Wow. That's um, and I, I thank you very much for that. Absolutely. Um, we have a 19-year-old son, a 18-year-old daughter, and a 9-year-old daughter. Um, I've been married for 20 years. Um, I've always worked around my husband. Um, just kind of, we're very, or I guess I should say our family is. Uh, we've always been very spiritual, um, have a lot of faith. Uh, my husband um, has been having an affair. Um, with a friend of mine, but also his HR director. Um, is she his, is married is, as well. Is his HR director? Uh-huh. Gotcha. Um, my husband was the chief of police in our city. Wow. Um, it became massive news. Yep. Um, I've had to chase uh, news crews, mm -hmm. all the major news channels off of our front lawn, away from our children and their friends. Wow. Um, it's been very humiliating. Um, Absolutely. Hence why I, I need to leave to keep it away from our nine-year-old sure. um, as much as possible. The older two are completely destroyed and affected. Um, I guess my... Uh, he tries to come and go. Okay. Um, he hasn't lived at our home for almost three months now. Um, it's just nonstop lying and all of that. And how do you stay so strong um, through something like that? But our 18-year-old, um, I am one of those. I did not make these children by myself. <laughs> sure. um, these are our babies yeah. uh, regardless of anything. Mm -hmm. um, but... Um, I have the people that he is staying with. Um, you know, I have sole custody right now of our of all of the kids, but our nine year old. Okay. Um, and they are asking. They've asked her questions when I have let him. You know, take her for a while. I want them to spend some time together. Sure. Um, but they are asking her things like, "How does she like her new mommy, Natalie?" And you know, all all the kids know this person. Um, you know, she's been in and out of their lives for the last several years. Um, and they just, they don't, the 18-year-old especially right now wants absolutely nothing to do with him. Okay. Um, and it is heartbreaking, but sure. yet um, she is going into law enforcement. Hmm. And I don't know if that's something that she really wants or if it's something to she looks at to redeem a name. Um, and I just need some advice, I guess, in a roundabout way of how to mo not just motivate myself, but um, to motivate them. Um, yeah. Man, first of all, I'm sorry for what you're going through. Thank you. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's a lot. It's a whole lot. Um, and I've been through, I've been through that before, not um, with as many levels of complication possibly as you, because <laughs> there's, there's a lot of levels to what you just explained. Um, but I've, but I've, been, yeah, so I've I, been through that before. Um, and I would, I mean, the first thing that I was thinking as you were talking especially when you, when you asked the first question, which was kind of just how do you stay strong? I think you need to give yourself 
a break. <laughs> I mean, I sometimes you don't have to be strong. Um, yeah. So I think there's certain um, there's a certain element of being able to go through the pain because when things are painful, you need to experience that and you need to deal with that and you need to have that because if you try to be super strong and just put on this front of I got it all taken care of and I got to be strong for my kids and I got to be strong for me. I got to be strong for, for him. I got to be strong for what's going on in the community. I got to be strong. And then, you know, who's, who's taking care of you. I think the first and foremost, you get you, you right now have to take care of yourself. Yeah. I think, I, that always goes on a back burner. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and it can't because I mean, this is something that I've become so focused on in my life is you know, you hear that whole oxygen mask analogy, right? With the airplane, you know, yeah. the cabin pressure drops, yep. you got to put on yourself first. And you've heard it a million times and we all heard, hear it and we say, yeah, absolutely. 100%, of course. But when it comes down to what we're actually doing in our life, like we don't actually do that. Uh, but that's one of the big things that I've learned from this coach I have, Sean Whalen. He's like, if you don't do that, you die. <laughs> and everyone dies. Yeah. Everyone dies, not yeah. just you everyone. And the only way that you can take care of your kids is by taking care of you first. Yeah. Because you can't, you can't pour from an empty glass. Right. Yep. <laughs> and so, yep. I mean, I think that that's first and foremost is, and, and what that looks like, I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, certainly you talked about counseling and things like that. I mean, you've got to have people to talk to. Um, about this, but you've also got to have some time just to sit down and just kind of deal with it. <laughs> you know, I mean, you're probably so busy worried about all this other stuff that you haven't really had a chance to even really, you know. Yeah, I'm terrified. <laughs> sure, uh, I, I would completely, completely understand. Do you have a good network of friends or family that you can, that you can? I, I do. Yeah. It's, um, you know, my father um, is in incredible shape and health and then had several massive strokes on the golf course. Um, and so, you know, my mom, I'm an only child. Okay. And uh, she's been dealing with a lot of that. And they're brutally angry with my husband sure. and... Um, so when there is a communication about that, there's a lot of negativity and I try to, you know, keep away from that because there's so much already. I, you know, am, am focused on looking for positives every day. I wake up in the morning and the first thing I'm doing is hitting a devotional and yeah. looking at what positives there are. Um, that's, that's one thing that I'll tell you is, I mean, that that's where you have to keep your focus there. I mean, the time that you're spending in prayer needs to be probably 10 X what it usually was before all this happened. Um, yes. And the encouragement that when I say it, you're going to say like, okay, that sounds great. I don't really believe you, but <laughs> the encouragement <laughs> is that there's going to be a time in the future and it could be not that long from now. It could be a year from now. It could be 10 years from now, but I can yeah. promise you that there'll be a time where you look back um, on all this stuff going on and that you'll, you'll literally feel grateful for it. Like you'll feel, yeah. you'll feel as though it was the biggest blessing that ever happened to you because of what's going to happen next. And I know that sounds, it sounds crazy, but like with me in my situation, um, I had a similar situation, a, a spouse that had an affair and it was incredibly painful and incredibly horrible and the families were involved and it was, it was bad. But yeah. now I look back and I'm so grateful that happened because I wouldn't be the husband I was or that I am right now to my wife if I hadn't gone through that. I wouldn't be the father I am. I wouldn't see the world the way I see it now. And so what I know for a fact is that there's a blessing on the other side of this that you can't receive until you become the person that can receive it. Yeah. And so that takes I get that. And that takes spending time on you. It doesn't take spending time yeah. with your kids. Like I know that's obviously it's important, but when you truly come to that realization, which I think you need to come to that realization 
of I cannot, like I physically, mentally, I cannot help my kids until I first take care of myself. When you make that switch in your mind, I think everything will start to become a little bit more clear as far as the path that you're supposed to be going down and the things that you need to be doing on a daily basis. Um, okay. Otherwise, it's going to be chaos. It's just chaos. Right. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's complete. <laughs> we, I, I, I read a, a doctor's office, and we have two different offices. And I can't even be in the doctor's office right now because sure. it's just an onslaught yeah. of, of things from, you know, the patient. And so the doctors are trying to protect me. Mm -hmm. I'll do as much of it as I can from home. And, you know, every day we get stuff from local businesses of, you know, we're thinking of you and the kids and keep your chin up. And yeah. it's just, wow. Well, <laughs> and it's great for support, but, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but yeah. it's just every day. Um, well, if you see my, I don't, then, what, I don't know if you saw this on your phone or on my, on your computer, but I, my shirt says King on the front. And this shirt is a reminder to me that the King eats first and yeah. in your world, the queen eats first. Right. Yeah. And so like, that's just gotta be the focus right now is how can I build myself up to where, cause it's, it's usually in these situations, it's usually only in hindsight that you realize these things. Like, Oh, in hindsight, I realized that this was the biggest growth period, the biggest growing time in my entire life. And I became so strong that now I've done A, B, C, and D. And I never would have been able to do A, B, C, and D had I not gone, gone through this. But to, yeah. be, but to be able to, and I think that's where your faith comes in, be able to understand that while you're in it, that there's a purpose in the pain, that there's a reason why you're going through this. And that it may not make sense and it may be terrible and painful and, and just chaotic, yeah. but that there's a, there's a 1000% a reason for it because there's a reason for everything like that God's yep. timing is never off. Right. And yep. so everything happens for a reason and just holding the faith that you don't know what that reason is right now, but that there will be a day where you're like, Oh my gosh, I get it. It all makes sense now. <laughs> yep, and, I, uh, I I agree with that. Yeah, and I know it's it's like the worst advice when you're in it, but it's the true advice. <laughs> There's, I always say there is some beauty that's going to come from pain. Absolutely, so it always does. The, it always does. The greatest thing I picked up running again, and so it's oh, yeah. I'm up at the butt crack of dawn, and that's I'm just awesome. watching everybody kind of wake up and. Yeah. There's been a few days where I didn't get to do that and I felt sick. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I, I'm I looking for do all you, the beauty that I you, can. <laughs> do you uh, meditate at all? I I do. I try. Yeah. Um, and the mind starts the wondering. There's, a, there's an app called Headspace. Have you ever used it? I haven't. So download that. Do you have an iPhone? Yes, I do. Yeah, so download Headspace. Um, I never thought I would ever meditate ever just because I've got crazy ADD and didn't think I could even sit still that long. Um, but Headspace, it's a, um, it, it tells you exactly what to do at every moment. Like it's like, breathe this okay. way. Think about this. Now think about this. Now breathe this way. Like it, in the beginning, there's two beginning um, plans or phases or cycles that they put you through um, that are very, very easy to go through. I do 10 minutes first thing when I wake up. And, and it's been life changing for me just to start my day intentionally the way I chose to start it. Um, and just there's been a huge sense of clarity for me uh, with that. But that, that app makes it easy because we all know we're supposed to do it. But this app makes makes it super easy to do that. Okay. Um, I got that wrote down. I will, I will, yeah, I will and, try and that. In, and stay in touch. Send me a message and let me know how things are going. I'll certainly... Um, keep you my prayers for sure I, i've been there and i know thank it's, you i know it's tough it it's it sure has been <laughs> it, it sure keep, has been you just got to keep focused on you though right now all right yeah all i right. will thank you so yeah, much no, i thank appreciate you so much for calling. i'm so glad we were able to have this conversation this is awesome 
Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Have a good rest of your I day. I appreciate it. You too, sir. All right. Bye-bye. Right.